stream, I got started working over my farm and introducing myself to the locals. Too far ahead of myself here, uh, make sure everything looks good. Yeah, it looks perfectly fine. Alright, let's do this. Oh, looks like we got some guests. Can I get my kitty? Oh, it's Marnie. <clears throat> Hello, Kenjamin. You see this cat here? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my kitty. I found it sitting inside the, outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Sure. Of course. Let's see here. Bozzy, Dudley, Trussover, Zuti, Gricani, Jinover, Loner. What kind of cat names are these? Rubby? Cell? Puppers? <laughs> what? Sherda? Jertley? What? Alright. Alright. These have got to be the worst names for a cat. Let alone any pet. For that matter. I mean, can you imagine going over to somebody's house and be like, Let me introduce you to Rumpus. Or... Wordy. Or... Whatever. And you'd be like... Anyways. Although Dudley is... Dudley's more suited for a dog than a cat, I'll be honest with you. Um, let's see here. Of course, my cat's gonna be male. I'm going to name him... Star. No, that's more geared more for a female cat name. Huh? My cat's definitely gonna be male. Let's see here. What would be a good name for a male cat? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Here. Max! Alright. Yeah. Max is a perfect name for a cat. Well, little Max, you be a good kitty now. Okay? Here's a little fun fact for you. Despite the fact that I love cats and dogs and any an pretty much every animal, I'm actually a dog person. Anyways, let's go check out the mail. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. What sources? Anyways, why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, wizard. How would he know this? Anyways, um... Well, let's go visit the wizard and find out what's going on. Okay, mine's up there. Okay, so the wizard's tower is over here. Got a little bit of a ways to go. I'm gonna do a little more excavating. To help me uh, get going.
Hello? Oh, there you are. There's Modius. Aw, oh, come in. Nice sheriff uh, look there, pal. <clears throat> Anyways, I am Resmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Meteor between physical and ethereal. You know, I always find that a little weird. Some spelling of ethereal is that A-E word, while other times it's the E-T-H. Ah, oh, that's neither here nor there. Let's continue. Master of the Seven Elementals. Keeper of the Sacred Ch- You get the point. Thank you, because you were going to give me a little too much information. And you, Kenjamin, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. What? Okay, uh, let me stop you for just one second. Let me see if I can put two and two together here. Number one, how would he know about me moving here? Number two, what is he using to foresee this? If that's not the definition of sketchy, I don't know what is. Here, I'd like to show you something. Okay, what are you gonna show me? Behold! What's that little green thing? You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Juminos. Nice name. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I wonder why. Well, I mean, if you're foreseeing people coming to a town long before they even know they're going to get there, I wouldn't speak to you either. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Oh, I bet. Hmm. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. This Rasmoji dude is a real weirdo. See what I mean? I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. <clears throat> In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm. One with the forest. What do they mean? Tell us, oh great wizard. What do they mean? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, this dude just took it, took the weirdness to a whole new level. First we're seeing my arrival, then leaving through the wall into the next dimension, appearing in front of the door, now sniffing fumes. God, this guy's a complete nutcase. Come here. What if I don't wanna? I guess I don't have a choice. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? I swear, if this was interactive, I would definitely say no. Because I don't want to. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Well, this, I can't say this ending well. didn't. See, boys and girls? This is why you don't hang out with strangers.
you've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Jumino scrolls. Okay, so there was a little bit of a payoff there. Thank God to get out of there. I just want to see where my kitty's at. I just adopted the poor little guy. I want to spend time with my kitty. You know what's even weirder? This looks like the modern... This is modern time, and yet... There's a wizard living here from the Middle Ages? Okay, I guess, whatever. It just seems so out of place. When I was playing Graveyard Keeper, at least the characters made sense, and it matches. But this wizard dude? Something about him just seems off. Anyways, let me just go water my plans, water my plans, water my plans. Kitty. I wonder what would happen if I give him a fish. Here, kitty. No. I want to give it to my kitty. No. Give to kitty. No, because I plan on selling it anyways. <laughs> he just plops over. Like, Are you going to what? I wonder if there is a way you could... I wonder if there is a way you can feed him. No, I was not supposed to eat it. Although it is a good idea to get a little energy because I can always go catch another one. Not a big deal. Unless the store has pet food. Wait a minute. Is this that daffodil? Yes, it is. And I know who likes daffodils. The girl I'm trying to impress, Emily. Hey, you, you got anything new to say? Hi there, do you have everything you need for the farm? Uh, no. What's this? I am looking for someone to bring me 20 copper pores to see if, there, to see if any rare gems are hidden inside. Clint. Hmm. Well, I haven't hit the mines yet, so I can't so I can't say for certain. Let's see if Emily's in the bar. Nope. She's at home. And there's Granny. Granny, you got anything new to say? I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. Hmm. I think a lot of these people don't give you a lot of useful hints. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe as you unlock things, maybe they'll say more? There she is. <clears throat> I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. Hmm. I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. Like I said, I know who likes daffodils. Oh, I see. You can't... Okay, that's fair. You can only give a gift once a day. That's fair. Okay, and we got Haley, which I don't think we've met yet. The only thing I like about this town is the beach. Hmm. There's Alex. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? I'd ask you to throw the ball around, but you don't really seem like the sports type. 
Wow, this is very interesting. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna see if I can prove him wrong. I wanna play catch with you. Really? I guess I underestimated you. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so I guess you can only give one gift a day. Like I said, which seems fair. So I guess the only one thing to do now, and that's... You know what? I feel generous today. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. I always firmly believe that it's important to build trusting relationships between the people you meet with. Being in game or in real life. Not too shabby, a sunfish. Not bad, not bad. Another clamshell. I don't think I'm gonna get to him in time. Perfect. Thirty gold? Not too shabby. So it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow because I think he closes at five. Oh look at this, a family outing. How nice. We don't have a school here, but I'm doing my best to give Vincent and Jazz a proper education, don't you know? Gosh. She's shy. I want to look for bugs, but Mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. And there's this dude. Did you watch the game last night? Or wait, do you even have a TV set? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Jeez, some of these people are complete jerks. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Yeah, thanks for the, uh... Ugh. Lifelong tradition of, a uh, good hygiene, my friend. Where's my little Maxie? Where are you? There you are. You know, I wonder what... Hmm. I wonder if I could put... Well, next time I catch a fish, I wonder if I could put it in the bowl and maybe he'll eat. Hmm. I still have a lot to learn about this game, but... Do whatever's necessary. some more seeds, so... Good. Oh, I forgot to mention, once you put something in that basket, you can't get it out. Alright. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's 
getting late. But I still got a ton of energy. Wait a minute. He's swinging his axe vertically. Aren't you supposed to swing your axe horizontally up at a tree? Okay, I'm not trying to be nitpicky or anything here, but it just seems kind of, I don't know, out of place. To swing your tree at a uh, downward arc. Aw, oh, kitty's asleep. I wonder if when I expand my house, Kitty will come inside. Oh, nice. Ooh, a field snack. Very nice. Plus one X proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. Ooh. Day 10 of spring, year one. Not, not bad, not bad. These are two separate items? That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, I got some mail here. Let's see what this has to say. Missing. I lost my I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Robin. Alright. Cutting wood south of Marnie's Ranch. Alright, so we're gonna have to head south to Marnie's Ranch. Neat, can't people learn to keep track of their own stuff around here? Anywho. Find the axe, rather, excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what's this? What is this? Ooh, abandoned place. We're up here. You can't do anything with it. Hmm. So she said the axe is south of the ranch. Like I said, this could... my best bet. If I was an axe, I'd probably be right here somewhere. I guess my understanding it's in the forest. The real question is, how how did she lose her axe? What was she doing? Well, that's very arbitrary. That's not of importance right now. There it is. All right. Um, hmm. I have to get rid of something. I could always eat the flower. Or the... Yeah. All right, got her axe. Oh, 
Although realistically, I would not carry that high above your head because I don't want people in the town to think that you're some crazed maniac carrying an axe. God, I can only imagine if uh, someone did that in real life. I guarantee you're gonna get shot on sight. But anyways, let's get more stuff cleared out. So we can create a pathway. Aren't we there, Abby? All right, Robin, I got you your axe. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. Wow. How could you be so careless? Now, where's my reward? Hey, I heard that Lewis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. Yeah, sure did. Now where's my reward? Oh, here we go. All right. I don't know if, what's this? One of Robin's axes. Never a dull moment in Stardew Valley. Radish, daffodil, leek, and dandelion. Hmm. I wonder where I can buy those. Great, more stuff I don't need. Hey, Tom, you're welcome. I'm cleaning up your filthy lakes. Hmm. I wonder 
wonder if I have to buy the stuff in order to rebuild a, a community center. Okay, so there's two people missing I have not met yet. Um, hang on. Okay, there's this guy. There's one other person. Where are they? Oh, I get it. This thing goes, uh... Okay, I get it now. I thought it goes the other way. Nope, not bad. Oh, her. Okay, so I gotta look for glasses guy and... Green shirt woman. You know, come to think of it, it doesn't tell you exactly where they're at either, which kind of sucks, but take it for what it's worth. Thirty, huh? Alright, well, it's better than nothing. Huh. That's interesting. A little... A little, a little gleam. Let's see what that's all about. Although I'm very surprised to su for such a tiny little fish, it yields a pretty good profit. 40 gold? Huh. What are you for looking at? Located. That just seems so unexpected. Hmm. New record. Very nice. Okay, he's closed up for the night. Like I said, I wonder if I could feed fish to my cat. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. 
we'll continue working on the uh, farm for a bit before I turn in for the night. Oh, if I had a bug catcher sound, I'd be catching all those butterflies. Ooh, acorn. You know, I haven't crafted really a whole heck of a lot yet. Use an item on this chain to change what's displayed. Hmm. I still don't have my piece of coal. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, I'll craft a stone sign. Oh, that's right, I forgot my inventory's full. But. Alright. Put it right here. Nice sign. What am I missing from this? Hmm, use an item. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, that's real, uh. No? I got a better idea. There we go. Yeah, put a picture of the scythe on your sign. Yeah, that'll guarantee you to keep the uh, trespassers out. Huh. Oh, it seems like I got more from uh, doing this than by uh, selling it to Willie. So we're on day 12. There's my kitty. I can only talk to him once a day. Oh, looks like I got another letter. Dear Kenjerman, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt, Mayor Lewis. Oh, tomorrow's Easter? But Easter's on a Sunday. Why in the world would he invite me over for a Easter egg hunt? Hmm. Well, it doesn't make a difference. I guess I'll be at the egg uh, hunt tomorrow. Oh, I don't think I've been here. What's this? Archaeology office between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. There's a book missing here. Okay, there's another. Oh, we haven't introduced seen this person yet. Let's see here. Hello there! Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Ah, uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have ar any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Hello there! Oh. Just, uh, saying the same thing. I guess I could be your errand boy. I like the rest of the time I've got anything better to do. Was he one of the people I was supposed to meet? 
no. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, I haven't explored the extreme north yet. All right. Um, I'll go up north for a while. Everybody. Speaking of the community center, I wonder if there's anything I can do here. Hmm. That doesn't look like it. At least not yet. I'm not too big on festivals. Lots of commotion, too much social interaction. More stress than fun, if you ask me. Hey, what a downer. I'm going the right way. I haven't been to yet. Mm -hmm. Unless there's a back route. Nope. Nope, doesn't look like it. Man, that is just so strange. I'm dying to get up there. But I think that's going to be later. Well, I haven't been in here yet. down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. My very first sword. Alright, um, let's get rid of the daffodil. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Pickaxe isn't quite strong enough yet. Doesn't seem to be working. Out of order. Ah, found another 
entrance. two characters are. There's two more people I have yet to find. And the introductions will be complete. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything that'll help me at this point as far as going into the mines go. I don't have enough healing items, but considering that probably the enemies are going to be really weak, I might, I might get lucky and uh, sneak away with pretty much minimal damage. kind of redundant that I'm watering plants while it's raining. He's probably inside. Doesn't want to get soaking wet. Oh, I wonder if this is the way to that place I tried to get to. No. It's just the back route to here. Hmm. You got anything new to say? A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. Ah. Uh, well. I guess it's one way to get clean. Can I guarantee it's gonna work in real life? a chance of exploring here. And there's absolutely nothing of value in here, so... At least not yet. scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and 1,000 gold when you're ready for it. Hmm. Ready for it. Robin. I'll get in my own leisure. Besides, I'm trying to save up for something far more important. The expanded slot.
said, I wonder where the blacksmith's place is. Hmm. Well, the blacksmith is right over there. Right next to the museum and library. I never, I never got a chance to go over there? That was weird. I was supposed to go do that real quick. Get myself a couple of slots opened up. Today's festival is being set up. Come back later. Oh, come on, really? I just want to get to the blacksmith so he can take a look at the geodes. But, I'm gonna, but I can clear out more stuff in the meantime. So, I guess it's no harm done. Not to mention this would be a good opportunity for me to start stockpiling up on wood. Harvested. And there's my kitty! My little boo. Okay, so the egg festival has begun. I'll have to get rid of the clay for now. I got this stuff to harvest. I got a potato. Potato. Or potato more. Alright, the festival has begun, so I might as well make my way into town. Ah, there's one of the people right there. Our huns have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight, bowls full of sweet yellow corn. What were you doing exactly to make them uh, work that hard? Okay, so that makes her 27. I have one more person to meet. And it's this dude up here, but I can't talk to him. Okay, and like I said, I guess I was partially right. This is an Easter festival. What's he doing? He's definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. Partially true. I mean, eggs are good and all, but you should only have them once in a while. All right, now who am I supposed to talk to, Lewis? What's everyone so happy about? Mm. Eggs. Why eggs? This festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. It's comforting. There he is. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt yet? Yeah, let's start and let's get this over with. So I wonder what the purpose of this is. Wait. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Ooh. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin!
So, am I the only one who's actively partaking in this egg hunt? second. Alright, let's take a look at this egg hunt here. Wow, look at all these eggs! Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have to clean this town this side of the gem sea. <laughs> yeah, you'll have me to thank because I'm the one who's actually cleaning out your rivers and lakes via fishing. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt... Abigail! What? How many did you get? Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy! Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone! I didn't get the prize? Now I can make cherry bombs. Hmm. I'm curious to see what these cherry bombs do. So I need copper and coal. Generates a small explosion. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, uh... Wow! Alright! Um... Hmm... Pack is full. Well, I have to get rid of it. That was the first time in a... This game I managed to get a perfect wall fishing! Summer. Oh, it looks like something's being built here. Alright. Until four. Am I 
suppose I could do a little bit of fishing. this person yet. Oh. oh geez. Wow. Okay, it looks like everything. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to get some copper. Good mental note. enough room in my inventory. Oh, that's right. I gotta have two slots open. One for the geode and one for the uncovered item. So it's off to the store to drop off the potatoes. Pack. Your inventory has increased to 24. Nice. Now I got twice the space. Woohoo! Let's, let's talk to Alex again. Hey. Man, I don't have much to say, do ya? Oh, I've never been in here. Oh, this is for Pamela's. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. I'm sorry, that should have been a different voice. That just sounded too familiar. Oh, is, am I met this person yet? Well, that's just Lewis. <laughs> ah, I've come. I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. I really haven't been doing much, though. Let's try this again. Ooh. Granite. What's this? Copper ore. Malachite. And some charcoal. All right. You know, I wonder what this copper ore, what I can do. I can we smelt it into bars? Hmm. Okay, it looks like you can also buy back valuable items. It's a professional gray furnace. Peering inside, you see molten metal bubbling and churning. Hmm. So I wonder where I can smelt these into making uh, bars. Out of order. Go figure. <sighs> hmm. I have the ore, and I would love to smelt them down into bars. Hmm. Oh, there's her. That's right. Oh, that's Penny. Hello. Um. The weather is interesting today, don't you think? You know, I kind of find it kind of funny that uh, that a clinic like this would have nobody working. It's like, what if it's a serious emergency though?
Is life sometimes difficult? Do you ever have trouble staying focused? Talk to your doctor about Prevaloxanone. Prevaloxanone is not for everyone. Side effects may include insomnia, severe anger, and controllable swelling of the throat, permanent discoloration of the lips, hair loss, and stroke. In extremely rare cases, one in 500 test subjects experience complete disintegration of one or more bones. Wow, that definitely, that sort of, it's a good thing to put the warnings on there, but even I admit, uh, that sort of label should be thoroughly checked by the FDA before it enters the public market. Just saying. Anyways, let's get some work. Oh, jeez. So, about eight tiles, huh? Okay, it looks like I can't do a change with them unless I do this. There. Okay, that'll work. For now. Anywho. farm a little bit. Kitty, did you poopers in the, uh, in the field right here? Oh, nice, a maple seed. Very nice. Let's see here. Oh. see it. So I wonder... Hmm. Oh. That's supposed to happen. I want to put it in there. You can make a pretty good profit doing this sort of thing. No. I'm trying to clear out my farm. I'm not trying to replant trees.
So I guess that's the punishment for uh, working yourself too hard. I don't have anything in here that'll uh, revitalize me, so I guess the only thing to do now is just head on in, get some shut eye. Looks like you only get half energy because you exerted yourself. What's this? Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead. Granny Evelyn. That's a good point. And two oysters. Boy, I swear this beach gets really polluted really fast. Forgot about uh Gunther. Hmm. One donates this to the museum. Is it pronounced Malachite or Malachite? Hmm. Can't say for certain.
Malachite, a popular ornamental stone used in sculpture and to make green paint. Hmm. It's ragged, but still cute. How nice. City, the neon lights, the shopping malls. Ooh, gotta love the shopping malls. Mr. Kenjimin, if you treat your animals well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Big clue right there if you want to win uh, Marnie over. This, uh... Oh! Oh, I forgot to put the... Donate the granite to the museum. Silly me. I forgot all about that. So wait, who is the last person I have not met yet? Are you serious? It's just two people? Here and there's one other girl. Hmm. See what the granite has to say. in construction. You're looking for seeds. You've come to the right place. Okay, that should do it. Now, where is this last girl at? Come to think of it. I'm sure that wasn't Marty. No, we met her already. Is she inside? Is that her? Trees look nice today, don't they? So why did you become a farmer? This seems to be the most logical answer right here, number three. I want to make 
tons of money. It's more real than living in the city. To follow in Grandpa's footsteps, I want to escape my old life. That's very sweet to honor your grandfather like that. Wow. And I know exactly who to give a gift to. Because I've done it before. Now like I said before, giving the correct gifts to the correct person is the key to winning over a mate. Exactly who loves daffodils. There she is. Have I told you Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've already established that. Thank you. I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. Now, here's the real interesting thing. Does it keep track of what they like and don't like? Because that would be very beneficial. Uh-oh. Explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. You sure about that? me to do about it. Well, that was a little, uh, weirder than expected. Start playing some of our seeds since I took the energy to uh. Oops. Plant them. Perfect.
on day 16. Oh, another letter? Who could that just be from? Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing on by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Pierre, before the health department comes around, it shuts me down. Yeah, make the star smell like you know what. <laughs> I'm considering I only have 194 pieces of gold. Let's see what you have. Okay, he's not open yet. more stuff that can be harvested. Oh, this is not quite ready yet. Looks like it's going to be about another day or so. Where's my kitty? There you are. Talk to kitty. <laughs> Good kitty. Good boy, Max. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Uh oh. Is this who I think it is? Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Sacre bleu. Well, any takers? Wow. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Georgia Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. Okay, Bowtie, if you say so. Poor dude. Oh, yeah, that's a big profit right there. Buy seeds for 80 and you sell them for 175. That's that's a good that's a good deal right there. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me.
Hmm. Well, not worried about that now. That's right, the acorns. So for 20 apiece, so perfect. Nice good way to make a little profit. All right, that's going to do it for this session here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.